which is right in there. So if you are just tuning in, it is 927 here. A new tornado warning has been issued south of the New Orleans Metro. Let me zoom out and put it in. Uh, paint the picture. Here's New Orleans. Here's the West Bank. There's Bell Chase. Here's the area of rotation that we're watching right there south of Jean Lafitte towards more so Lafitte and that's moving east. It's moving at about 20 miles an hour, so it's not actually moving all that fast, but it is moving and uh, we can put a track on this for you to give you an idea of the timeline of where this is headed and when it might get there and we'll, we'll draw it out past uh, through Plaquemines Parish. So it's in Lafitte right now near Joe's Landing by 931. Uh, Gloria 951, Scottsville School 951, Bel Air 954, Ironton 956 towards Phoenix by 10 o'clock and then um, heading up further off towards the east from there. Notice there's some other locations that could see impacts. Point of Lahash uh, closer to 1030. That's an hour away. We'll see if it actually holds on that long, but more immediately it is a Lafitte right now and then closer to the river in the next about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, it'll be closer to the Mississippi River in Plaquemines Parish. This is going to stay south of Bell Chase. Now, Bell Chase is close enough that some of your cell phones may have pinged it, uh, that warning, and they're, they're going off, but the tornado threat is well to the south of Bell Chase, and it's well to the south of anyone there on the West Bank as well. It's down here into central Jefferson Parish, which does include the uh, the, La, the, La, the Lafitte area and Jean Lafitte. I'll show you our velocity and remember this shows us what the winds are doing within the thunderstorm and how they're rotating. Whenever you have red that are winds going away from the radar. So in this case, the radar is in Slidell. So the winds are going away from Slidell, the radar, whereas the green are going to. So this is your area of spin and that's what we call a coupled or a couplet where they're coupled together and that's where your spin is going to be. So there's Lafitte, there's uh, Jean Lafitte, there's Lafitte and it's going to be uh, kind of right in the middle of the two, which of course is just one continuous area of, of property. So it's just now getting closer to uh, your main road there across that portion of Jefferson Parish. Once again, this warning is going to go until 945. So we're going to watch this for about the next 15 minutes or so as it gets closer to um, the Mississippi River. Some of the locations that uh, could see impacts from this along the Mississippi into Plaquemines Parish uh, are going to be from Gloria to Carlisle and to Ironton. Right in this area here is where likely this rotation is going to pass as it travels basically due east. So Lafitte, you definitely need to be in your tornado safe spot right now as we do have a rather impressive rotation signature uh, showing up on on our radar, our radar there. And then of course, once it gets past the uh, the um, the Mississippi River, it's going to move into a very unpopulated area into eastern and far eastern St. Bernard Parish there. This will probably stay south of uh, many locations in St. Bernard. Uh, but there you can see this is the tornado warning in the flashing box. If you live anywhere in that box, you do need to be in your tornado safe spot, especially in the Lafitte area. That's where the most immediate threat is going to be. That white line there, that is the Mississippi River along Highway 39, of course, to 23 there. And uh, this will be making its way towards that area over the next 15 minutes or so. Once again, it's not moving terribly fast at 15 miles an hour. We're not seeing it booking, uh, but um, it is moving at a constant speed and drawing you on that track. Once again, notice uh, getting towards the Ironton area, maybe by 950 to 10 a.m. That'll give you a little 10 in uh, 10 minute leeway there of when you could see the worst part of that storm impacted. Now, if you're on the northern side of this where uh, the tornado threats a bit lower, but it's still part of the same storm, you're definitely getting some very heavy rainfall and a ton of lightning, and that's going to include uh, these areas. This is where the heavy rain will be. You might even see a little hail here. The tornado threat is going to be in this part of the storm, and you see the hook echo there that has to do with the storm wrapping up. The way a storm is structured is this is the entire supercell. The winds are rushing into the storm here and feeding up into it. The winds on the back side are usually rushing down and out and that's where you get your area of spin right in there and it's currently right over uh, Lafitte and just now crossing over. You also got to remember that these radars have a little bit of a delay. It's not an immediate um, uh, accurate what's happening in that exact moment. There's usually a couple of minutes delayed to send the wave out and get the data back. So this is probably a little bit further here in reality and already moving past Lafitte into the marshy areas here. But then it's going to be approaching Highway 23 and Highway 39 in Plaquemines Parish. And really uh, for Carlisle to Gloria to Ironton, this area right in here is where that tornado threat is going to be at its highest. Uh, let's look at velocity again. That really paints the picture of what 
uh, this storm is doing. And this storm is likely, I'll tell you what, that's a pretty good signature there. And it's getting to the point where there's not a lot of land interference, not a lot of friction from land. So a tornado can develop easier over marshy areas. And that's exactly what's going to happen here, almost like a water spout situation. And uh, it will be easier for it to wrap up, which means you really got to watch it for our Plaquemines Parish friends that are taking cover. Uh, in this area. So right now, area of rotation right near Lafitte, moving to the east at 20 miles an hour, and you most certainly need to be in your tornado safe spot uh, if you were anywhere in this uh, this warning box. Once again, if you are on the West Bank, you're probably close enough to where maybe your cell phone's going off. This tornado threat is well to the south of the West Bank. It does not include any of the West Bank. It doesn't even include Bell Chase, but you're close enough to where maybe your cell phone's going off. And there are some storms up here, but none of them are rotating. We've had storms in the New Orleans area, but none of those have been rotating either. It's just this one right here. It's by itself. It's an individual cell. It's able to tap into that atmosphere. There's enough spin down here on the Gulf Coast. There's enough moisture. You get all those ingredients come together and it doesn't take much to get a tornado to spin up down here in our area. Per the last radar scan, it was over um, Highway 45, that was a couple of minutes ago, so it's likely past it at this point and moving uh, past where all the houses are here along the highway, and now it's moving out. Uh, generally, this is going to be your broad rotation. This is moving out into the marshy areas of, um, of Jefferson Parish, but of course next up is going to be <coughs> the, uh, the Plaquemines Parish area. Just checking in with the National Weather Service, they are saying that uh, uh, still radar indicated they expect it to stay basically due east, um, so they're not anticipating it being an issue for the West Bank. Once again, this is going to be an issue for areas in Plaquemines Parish along the river south of Bell Chase, from really south of Oakville and from Gloria to Carlisle to Ironton. Those are the three main locations we're going to be watching very, very closely for this potential tornado. Uh, we can check and see if we're getting any debris lofted from this as well. Our radar is able to detect if anything is being lofted into the air from this, and that, that will confirm if it's anything. Uh, and just looking at this, this latest scan here of this, I don't see anything that immediately jumps out uh, that is showing any debris. We'll continue to watch this as we get more updates uh, from that radar itself. This is the a radar out of MSY and sometimes it can really paint a good picture if the storm is close enough to the metro area. This one might be just too far away, but you generally get the same picture with this radar as you do with the one out of Slidell. You've got your supercell here, you've got your hook, your inflow, and you still got your spin now past Lafitte. So I think the threat is winding down there in Lafitte. Stay in your safe spot. It's still somewhere in the vicinity, but it's now moving uh, just outside into the marshy areas more than likely. And now eventually going to start to approach uh, the Plaquemines Parish area, especially near uh, near uh, near Carlisle. You can see the community here uh, or this area right in there along Highway 23 and Highway 39. This is the immediate area. I need to figure out what this is and I can give you that exact location of where this is most likely uh, heading into Plaquemines Parish. So for folks in Lafitte, for um, continue to take shelter. If you're in Jean Lafitte, uh, anywhere really to the north from Crown Point to the West Bank, this threat is going to be south of you. Uh, it does look like. And if you're anywhere on the West Bank and your phone's going off, you're close enough to that warning, sometimes your phone will go off. It is going to be uh, to your south as well. Oh, this is the uh, the Phillips, the, refin the Alliance um, refinery here where the uh, where the possible tornado is going to go, the Phillips 66. So that's where the immediate threat is going to be as this tornado moves off uh, closer to the Mississippi River, which is right in here. And it'll be there within the next probably 10 minutes or so. We can put a, a more exact track on this and uh, let you know more time, an exact time of where it's headed and, uh, and crossing the river. So it'll be closer to the refinery by 950. What are we at? 936, right? So uh, within the 10, 10 minutes or so, it will be close to the refinery there. Uh, Ironton, it may stay just here north, but you know, this it all just kind of runs together along the river. Uh, Phoenix, 956, the high school there, 958, and closer to Harlem as we go to 10 -0. Uh, for. So that is a timeline of when the tornado threat could get to you. That's not when you should take cover. You should be taking cover right now. Go to an interior part of the structure you're in. Uh, go away from windows, lowest level as you can. A lot of structures are elevated, but uh, if you do have a house with a foundation, uh, best place to be is inside a closet, usually without windows, those types 
of things. All right, we continue to get our latest scans here and um, I tell you what, even if it's not producing a tornado, maybe it's producing some water spouts, but it's got some strong winds in it. Whenever radar is picking up on these yellows, we can query them here and uh, they just give you an idea of what the radar is actually picking up wind speed wise. Notice it's picking up uh, outbound winds, means winds going away from the radar over 60 something miles an hour. Winds going to the radar uh, about 60 miles an hour as well. And this is where your rotation is gonna be. So even if there's not a tornado, even if there's not a water spout, whatever you wanna call it here, uh, there's still probably some very strong winds blowing through this part of Jefferson Parish now creeping onto the parish line. That little black line you see there, that is where Jefferson turns into Plaquemines Parish uh, as it approaches the river. Haven't got, uh, have not gotten any reports of damage. If you do have damage reports, please let us know. Um, or if y'all get any damage reports back there in the control room, y'all let me know. Uh, and we'll get that information relayed. But once again, if you're just joining us, it is 938 here. We are tracking this tornado warning south of the West Bank, mainly for areas now east of Lafitte going into Plaquemines Parish. So the immediate threat now is going to be mainly in Plaquemines Parish because there's not much right here. It's just marsh. But um, as you get closer to the river, of course, you're going to start to run into things. And the Phillips 66 Alliance Refinery is going to be our main concern. And that location uh, is where we where it looks like this is this is headed. And I can turn off the radar there just to give you a picture of the radar itself or the satellite itself. There's Carlisle, there's uh, Ironton, there's the refinery, and that area of rotation is gonna be uh, just towards the west of the refinery. So it's kind of a messy setup when you look at it on radar. There's no definitive uh, exact spin, but you've got spin here. You've also got some strong winds blowing out here. So anywhere in here could be your uh, tornado. Once again, haven't had that confirmed just yet, but um, of course this is, um, it's now in a kind of unpopulated area at the moment, so it's hard to get eyes on it. Uh, as well. We do have um, our West Bank camera. Let me pull it up really quick just to show you what it looks like when you're looking at it from the north. I need to switch this over really quick. This is what it looks like from the French Quarter, of course, but uh, our West Bank camera sits in the Terrytown area 500 feet up and it can really uh, get you a good picture of what's happening over there on the uh, West Bank. So that's what it looks like looking into the storm itself. You're not going to be able to see the tornado because you'd have to look through all the rain. But if you're on the West Bank, this is what you're seeing uh, looking down towards the south. And you see this line right here. That's the edge of the storm itself, that supercell as it moves uh, kind of away from from this area. So we're not going to have a good visual on this, even with our camera sitting 500 feet up, not too far away from this rotating storm. So it does look like the tornado warning is going to continue until uh, 1045 or excuse me, 945. They said at 935, so just a couple of minutes ago, a uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located uh, just passing through Lafitte, now heading towards the uh, Mississippi River area from Ironton up through the Phillips 66 Alliance uh, refinery. That's the most immediate threat we're looking at right now. When you look at the structure of this storm, uh, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's really getting stronger or weakening. It's just kind of maintaining that look uh, of intense winds here and intense winds here. And this is where the area spin is and uh, still have not gotten any confirmed reports of there being a water spout. If you have seen it, let us know if you uh, are in Lafitte and you've got damage, let us know as well. That threat has now, at least the tornadic part of the storm, has now moved past Lafitte. It's more in this marsh area. It's crossing the parish line here into Plaquemines, but now it's headed towards the river. So if you do have any damage reports, uh, Lafitte would be the spot, I think, if we saw anything that it would be. Uh, if you do have those, let us know. And uh, that's your latest update, as you just saw. Not a bad sign. Notice not as bright on the color scales, which means it's not indicating the winds are as strong as they they were with the last couple of scans. So maybe we're seeing a weakening trend with this. However, that tornado warning, it's still going to go for a couple of more minutes. We'll see if they extend it or they let it expire, uh, but it is approaching the Mississippi River here in Plaquemines Parish south of the Bell Chase area and closer to the Phillips 66 Alliance uh, refinery, which is right right there. So uh, latest update notice we're getting brighter colors once again, so maybe it's still got something in it and uh, that's getting really close to the river. And at this point, once again, the radar has got a little delay by a couple of minutes. It's probably getting very close to Highway 23 and then eventually crossing the river Highway 39 on the uh, the East Bank 
of Plaquemines uh, Parish. It is also producing some strong winds even outside of the threat for a tornado where you see these brighter greens. These are likely winds rushing up into the storm or out of the storm. So this could be producing some strong wind gusts uh, a little bit further south than that tornado threat. And then that's where the area spin and concern is going to be. So if you're in Jean Lafitte or Lafitte, I think you're going to be okay. The, the storm and at least the worst part of the storm is now past you. You're still getting some really intense rain and thunder and maybe a small hail a stone here and there as well in Lafitte. But that area spin was going to be up in here where you see that notch. That's the inflow and that's where your spin is going to be. But still some very heavy rainfall on the back side of this towards Lafitte, Jean Lafitte and and uh, going even up closer to the Bell Chase area. Uh, if you're watching us anywhere else, we do have some intense thunderstorms that are now moving out into the Gulf. These are moving out of Saint Bernard. That was a pretty strong storm. But other than that and that, the rest of them have been OK. They've produced some rain and lightning, but that's about it. None of them have tried to rotate. It's just this single cell out here now moving into Plaquemines that has shown signs that it is uh, it was trying to spin and drop a tornado. So uh, it looks like that tornado warning. We've still got a couple more minutes on it. As it approaches the river, if you are still along the Mississippi River, anywhere in here in Plaquemines, especially near the uh, refinery down there, the Phillips 66 refinery, uh, go ahead and continue to shelter. That area of spin is going to be moving in very, very soon uh, as that storm moves at about 20 miles an hour off to off to the east. This once again is our other radar. This is uh, the MSY radar. It sits out into St. Charles Parish and it updates a lot faster actually because it's a smaller radar. Um, it's showing about the same thing. There's your area of spin. Nothing really jumps out as maybe it's not a well defined rotation, but there is rotation still in in the storm. And it also shows that hook uh, getting very, very close to the refinery, <clears throat> which is right there. You can kind of see the outline of the refinery. That's where your spin's going to be. So that just updated there at 944, uh, moving right near the refinery as we speak, uh, crossing the river as we speak as well. And that'll move on to the east bank of Plaquemines Parish pretty soon. And then eventually we'll get this thing out of here and it moves into nothing out here other than Marsh. So that will be happening within the next couple of minutes. That warning goes for the next 30 seconds or so. We'll see if they extend it or what they're what they're thinking on it. Uh, but as of a couple of minutes ago, they were going to let it go until 945, which is minutes or seconds uh, seconds away. Once again, if you are in Lafitte, that's where the tornado threat was highest earlier. It is now past Lafitte. We're going to give you the all clear in Lafitte. Um, and really in Jefferson Parish, that tornado threat has come to an end. You're still getting a lot of heavy rain and some thunder and lightning, but now the tornado threat is right near the Mississippi River in Plaquemines Parish. And there it is uh, heading off to the east. Notice this one updates like every minute. It's great and um, it's still got the hook. It's still got some inflow into it, but it's not looking uh, as impressive as it was maybe 10 minutes ago when it was sitting near Lafitte. Uh, so it definitely not strengthening. It doesn't look like, but it's still got something in it. It's still rotating uh, at this hour. So it's 945. Um, it looks like they're probably going to let that warning expire. I'm going to hang with this another minute just to make sure they don't reissue it and we have to jump right back on. Um, we'll give it another minute here to see what they do, but it does look like maybe that rotation within the storm uh, has become a little bit more broad in a sense. It's still rotating, but uh, it's not as tight and to get a tornado to develop. You need these to be really tightly together. We just don't have that. We've still got some weak spin. The whole thing is spinning. It's what we call a mesocyclone, but uh, it's the whole storm spinning. It's not that individual spot where you get the tornado. So there's still some spin in here crossing the river with the spin. It's probably still producing some gusty winds. Notice it looks like they're going to reissue this as a severe thunderstorm warning, which tells us that this is more of a wind threat, which can be just as significant as a tornado sometimes. But these these are more than likely going to be some strong winds moving off to the east. So I'm going to cover this warning real quick and then we'll send you back to regular programming. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning you see there is going to go for uh, Plaquemines Parish and then going out to the marshy areas here into the Gulf. You can see it flashing there. That's going to be mainly for a wind threat and uh, just the details of that warning really fast. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning and they're going to throw on that tornado possible tag, meaning there is some rotation, but it's it's not tight enough for them to issue a warning. So a severe thunderstorm was located near Myrtle, Myrtle Grove or this is 11 miles south of Bell Chase at this point. It's moving east at 25. It could have some quarter size hail. It could also have some strong gusty uh, winds in it as well. And it looks like they're going to mainly warn this perhaps for some strong or some hail up to the size of quarter, but also 
there could be some some gusty winds and if this thing decides to tighten up, it could still produce maybe a tornado or a water spout. Uh, that's a little bit easier to do down here in the marshy areas than it is when it's over actual land. So it is 947 here. Our severe thunderstorm is now moving right over the river. It's going to move into Plaquemines and then eventually out into the Gulf. The rest of us, uh, we're seeing the rain finally wind down in New Orleans, which is great news for everyone heading out to Jazz Fest. There is still some rain, but notice the heaviest of it is now moving uh, more so on the West Bank and it's going to continue to move uh, in the general direction of the coast. Still maybe a few showers over the next hour or so, but things will start to improve through the remainder of today. This is our strongest storm. It's eventually going to move out in into the Gulf. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it for you, but for now, we're going to send you back to regular programming. From Channel 4's Eyewitness News, this has been your local weather expert alert, brought to you by Egan Insurance Agency. Wait, this fair. Right. There is something that this fair is really known for. It is the Fireman's Fair Burger. You all actually sell over 17,000 throughout the weekend. Bourgeois Meat Market provides all the burgers and they make a patty just for the fair. I can't wait and there's going to be a lot more food as well. There's going to be crawfish pie, shrimp creole, so much fun happening at the 